What's an electric heat sequencer? What does it do? What happens when it fails? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a mobile home, a trailer unit where I replace a sequencer. And this is just about the number one part that has to be replaced during the winter on mobile home, on trailer units. So today, I hope you're ready to learn something about electric heat sequencers. Hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, before we start so you know what I'm doing. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's learn more about electric heat sequencers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a meter and check the amp draw on the heaters after we install the sequencer. I'm going to show you a wiring diagram and how the wiring of the electric heaters are on a electric furnace. And I'm going to talk about the sequencer in depth. A common call we get from a homeowner that owns a electric furnace and it is in a mobile home is it's burning up in here, it's 90 degrees, the heat will not shut off, and what we usually find is a bad sequencer. The unit runs and it heats even when the thermostat's off. The only way you can get it to stop is turning the breaker off. Bad sequencer. right there here's what we're replacing multiple sequencers there are single sequencers there are multiple sequencers what is a sequencer a sequencer is a device that closes and opens its electrical contacts on a time delay for energizing a series of electrical loads in sequence and it says right here that a sequencer consists of several sets of electrical contacts a coil wire heater and a heat sensitive switch for its heat sensitive switch, a sequencer uses a bimetal element to open and close its sets of contacts. Some sequencers are equipped with five sets of contacts, allowing them to control three heating elements, the blower fan, and the low voltage circuit connected to the next sequencer. Take a moment, pause the video, read through this if you want, and let me show you this book. So if you want to get it, you can. This is actually page 1205, Modern Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. Link in the description. Just wire for wire. Looks like someone wrote on the panel, sequencer was changed in 2011. All right, it's 2022. Got a drill with an extension. Take the other one loose. And then wire for wire. Found a couple burnt wires. One from that terminal to that terminal. Took it out. Made me a wire. And then another burnt wire right here and here. I'm going to remove this. Make sure you carry some wire with you. And a couple spades. Got my wire strippers and then my crimping tool. So and that's how I made this. The one that was burnt, and it went right here. Oop. And this wire, Let me make sure you, oh. Awesome. This one's about too. So, I need to get rid of that. Make another wire real quick. Other one can go right here. And now start taking all that These two here will go right here. Boop. Wire for wire so that you know what you're doing. And this here, up there. I'm trying to target. Get these off. That one's got a double spade on it. So I gotta have that double spade. Alright. Put the double spade on. We've almost got all the wires off here now. Oop. Oop. This one goes on the coil. Alright. 
is under sign of the It's under a double spade, but it doesn't have to be. So we can separate it. Alright. Now I've only got a few more wires left here. Looks like they're all on the right side. And they go right here. Alright. Make sure everything is crimped down good. And then this is it. We may need to get another double spade. Here's the old one. So, getting it out of here. And I'll put this other double spade on. Right here. I'll take these three wires off. And this one. Oh, look at this. We got one more burnt wire. Looks like. Okay, I'm gonna take that other burnt wire off. A new sequencer is installed. Replaced three burnt wires and make sure you use stranded wire. So I carry some stranded wire. It's at least got to be number 12 wire. I carry some number 10 wire because number 12 is rated for 20 amps and that's what these heaters are going to pull about 20 amps a piece. We're going to check them with a meter. This right here is the hook that goes into the plate or the panel here and then you got one screw that holds it. And this is the coil and these are the contacts so let's check it out all right turn the unit on heating to get my meter we got 25 volts to the coil and now we're going to measure the amp draw on all three heaters this right here is the coil. See, I was putting one meter lead here and one meter lead here. So 25 volts here and then 240 volts here. See right there? 238 volts. All right, take it, put it on volts AC, hit select, and now we are going to measure the amps of these heaters. 20 amps, 20 amps, oh, that's the only heater that's not coming on. So I'll wait a few minutes, we want to make sure that all three heaters come on. So, but those other two are working. 20 amps, 20 amps. Wait a few minutes. Ah, it's not going to come on because it's not hooked up to anything. See the other side of that terminal? This is one side. There's supposed to be another side. We need to hook this one to that other terminal. All right, let's switch it. Now we got the wire switched. So now all three heaters should come on. Oh, immediately. Look at that. So that heater just came on. Good deal. So, one heater, two heater, oh, three heaters. Beautiful. Right out the back door. That is awesome. These are the two different sequencers that we carry and we have on our service vehicles. I'm gonna teach you a little bit about these sequencers. So if you look right here, it says M1 and M2. And this is a set of contacts, M3 and M4. And then M5, M6, M7, M8. If you look online and you look up Mars sequencers and you type in the number, then you can pull up information about it. If we look at the number here, 33833, you see it has two timings, four switches, and each uh, set of contacts, M1 and M2, M3 and M4, M5 and M6, it has one to 110 seconds. And that is on time and off time. So you have an elapsed time to make contacts after heaters energize, minimum to, minimum to maximum, and then an off time, elapsed time to make contacts after heaters de-energized. 
So whenever the coil is energized, then it will take approximately in between zero to 110 seconds to make this set of contacts, okay? That means to close. And then you've got here, it says below, off timings determined after PTC heater has been electrified for a total of five minutes. This is good information. So you can look up this information online, type in the Google search bar, Mars electric heat sequencer, and then type in 33833, and it's a double pole, single throw, single pole, single throw, normally open 24 volt AC coil, and then on and off. So I just wanted to explain that to you. And this sequencer right here is different. It says uh, timings are different, 30 to 90, timings off is different, number of switches, and it's a double pole, single throw switch. Timings, it only has one time. Got a wiring diagram here, just wanna show you how the heater is wired. So you've got here 230 volts, L1 and L2, that's one breaker, and then the other breaker, L1 and L2, so this is 230 volts. So you've got a black wire going into the heater and then coming out of the heater and going into the M1 contact and then out of the M2, you got another wire going back and it goes to the other side of the line. So that's how you wire a heater and the sequencer. Take a moment, pause the video, look at this wiring diagram or type in the Google search bar, Intertherm electric furnace wiring diagram. You can also go to PackardOnline.com to learn more about these heat sequencers. All right, putting it back together. Intertherm. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments what you learned, if you did learn something. And if you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. Definitely do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Hit the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.